Hello, welcome to Answers TV, NAM 2019. My name is Jack and I'm joined by the lovely... Neil Evans, from oh, Casio. From Casio, and we're in the shiny Casio booth this year. Last year we were in a cave, yes. or bought to a compliment. Looks very much like an Apple showroom, and I think, this year. It is uh, reflecting how well you're doing. Recently impressed with the CD... Uh, PS100. CDPS100 launched uh, two weeks ago, so super compact, portable, and um, been incredibly well received so far. Yeah, so. really well received. Uh, but this is brand new. I've intentionally not garnered any information from you. Tell me about it, man. Okay, so this is the PXS1000, and this is the next evolution in uh, the Privia range. Um, so it's the 15th year since Privia was first launched, and the idea behind Privia was that it was a portable super compact piano 15 years ago. So to mark the uh, anniversary, our R&D engineers have come up with something that is even more portable and more compact. So in fact, this piano is the slimmest and most compact uh, digital piano on the market. Ooh. Yeah. So um, I do have to caveat that uh, legally. Um, <laughs> So it's the most portable uh, digital piano on the market for pianos that have a fully 88 weighted action mm -hmm. and built-in speakers. So it's really important. So um, yeah, there's, we've got a tagline, slim, stylish, and smart, um, which describes the uh, product perfectly. So in terms of the first one, slim, super compact. Incredibly uh, so. Really, really portable. Uh, in terms of stylish, it looks great. Um, yeah, You've I don't know got if you're getting this high this gloss. Yeah, the high gloss is, looks fabulous. We just gave it a little bit of a, a sheen, but it, it, it looks so posh. I'm just thinking of how far Casio have come in the last few years. The, the R&D team um, have done some fantastic things, making new products for us with our Grand Hybrid, yeah. with our uh, CTX keyboards that you saw last year, and then with the new CDP and this. Um, it's a, it's a, a real direction. treat to look at, a real treat. So we've got this high gloss finish, so high gloss finish, it's a touch panel, uh, which makes it very much like a, a mobile phone sort yep. of interface. It's very minimal, so in terms of operation, it's very simple. Oh, it's uh, like this, just one little bit of red on the felt strip, and then these, are these the speakers? Uh, uh, speakers are at the back. At the so back? The speakers are at oh, the so back. So this is just and a lovely little got, detail, yeah. You've got a grill here as well that lets sound out the, out the front of the Woo! piano. So in terms of design, slim, super slim, uh, stylish, it looks cool. Uh, and the other thing is the smart element. So um, the PXS 1000 and the 3000 have uh, built-in Bluetooth audio. So you can easily connect to your phone to stream uh, from YouTube, yeah. whatever, piano lessons, yeah. uh, acapella, vocal only. Oh, that's a good point. We'll show yeah. you some of that. Now, that's quite, uh, quite a popular thing to do. Um, and the other thing with the PXS 1000, again, along with the slim and portable element, is it does take batteries. So six AA batteries um, will give you about four hours playing time. So you haven't got to get those big, clunky, big D batteries. What uh, a great thought, man. It's, it really is. If anybody's looking for something that's super portable to move around, whether it's to gigs, rehearsals, choir, whatever, yeah. um, it's 11.2 kilos. That's without batteries. So just, yeah, and, and the reason that's a little bit more than the CDP S100. Is, it is. Is that because there's a, a much better action in here, or like more advanced gubbins? It's to do with the design of the chassis and um, the materials that, that are used here. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's minimal. So I was just thinking after that video, I was so impressed by it. Um, if you like that thought process of having a battery powered thing, this is a great level up from that, isn't it? But it looks like you've got the two, you've got two headphones, which I love to see. Stereo line out, important if you're gigging. Uh, proper line into, level, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, line level on there. It will also support the three pedal units, so for any of the serious pianists out there, yeah. you can add that uh, as an optional extra. Can you get wooden, can you expand it with a wooden tune? Absolutely. So what, what the piano actually um, ships with is obviously a music rest. Um, and a foot switch, the small black uh, sustained foot switch. There is an optional SP34, which is the three pedal unit. And That's nice, it's not got, too big either. It's not too big. Yeah. The pre predecessor to that was on a bar. I've got the Nord one, and it's yeah. not a hefty yeah. old bugger. Uh, nine tons. Um, so 
The optional wooden stand is the CS68. Again, very smart looking in terms of all of the joints are completely smooth. There's no visible screws or jo uh, uh, the way it's been built. So it, it very much is in line with the design and the aesthetic of the piano. Yeah, no BS, it looks great. Yeah, it sounds There's great. another brand over there, begins with a D, ends with an L, we don't sell them, so I don't need to say it, but it always looks a bit, I think they've taken over the mantle for stuff looking like calculators. This is looking really sexy, man. So in terms of other things just to, to point out, this fully 88 weighted keyboard, it's got the simulated ivory touch keys, yep. so it's great to play. Um, and again, using uh, the, the slogan and the smart element, we've got the Bluetooth audio connectivity, but the, the new action is called a smart scaled action. So it gradually uh, gets lighter towards the top, mm -hmm. as you would expect on an acoustic piano. But the smart element is to do with how each individual note responds. So when you're playing acoustic piano, and some other digital pianos have this feature, where you can change the hammer response. So if you're playing something slowly and lyrically, um, there's a slight delay from when you strike the key to when the hammer hits the string, but that's set globally across the whole keyboard. On the PX, it does it by individual note. So if you're playing a, a, a key slowly, it will slightly delay the sounding of that note in real time. And it does it by note, not globally. And that's the smart element of it. So the net, the net result and the net benefit is it's super responsive um, and gives a great dy dynamic range from pianissimo right through to fortissimo. Oh, I'm looking forward to giving that a go. We're going to plug it in and have a listen to it. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much again. Thank you, buddy. And all the best. We're going to do some, uh, we've got another product to look at, haven't we? PX3000. All right, can we get some sound out of this? Uh, let's do it. Boosh. Welcome back. You just saw a G-Shock, part of the Casio uh, myriad of cool brands. Uh, anything else you do? Casio, just G-Shock? Uh, lots of things. Oh, that's it. Okay, we'll go there. Man, you just played that. <laughs> okay. I ha can, 
can you express what it's like to play the smart scale? Where would it come out best? If you come in the store, what type of thing should you play to coax out that feeling of the smart grade gradation? I think what what is noticeable about it, um, try, it's a newly developed action with this uh, software driving it um, in the background, is just the, the fine nuances you can get, the difference between pianissimo and fortissimo. Uh, any player that it's a really just really dynamic, go, soft stuff up the yeah, top. Yeah, really, really. Yeah, lovely. So yeah. you can get that really soft, quiet stuff towards the top end, big meaty bases. So. Any other little features you, you were talking about before you played it? Anything else that we, we didn't cover? Okay, so in total it has 18 different sounds. It's got five pianos, it's got four EPs, it's got some strings. Uh, that's a big jump, organs. yeah, that's great. Yeah, so 18 uh, good quality sounds. But uh, overall, um, I think the spec's really high. It's super slim, super portable, the battery powered, full 88 weighted key, so go anywhere, mm -hmm. play anywhere. Um, and it looks cool with the, the new design and the touch panel. Well, thanks, man. We're going to check out one more keyboard here today. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. And uh, what keyboard are we going to look at next? We're going to look at the PX3000, which right. is the next one up. Well, you'll have However, to click on that video. We have forgotten something. What? It comes in a very sexy, shiny white. Oh, too. should we go look at it? Should we go yeah, roaming? Yeah. Come on. Quick, let's go roaming. Check it out. Feast your eyes. Oh, and it looks nice with the stand. Look at that, yes. This one is not plugged in. All right, sorry. And <laughs> uh, neither does it have batteries in it. <laughs> It looks really But I lovely. guess, um, yeah. And you can again, get white wooden legs for white, the side. White matching stand, again, touch panel, white, very, so very cool in terms of White it. was always really popular. People in apartments, you know, modern apartments, yeah. good call. And it's really bright white. It's not like a, uh, a, mil a milky, I don't know, I'm talking about, I sound like a furniture salesman. I think what's great as well, you can actually see with the two side by side how far we've come. This is the PX160, still a great piano, really portable, but just the amount of work that's gone in from the R&D department. I love that you've just left to, this out to go yeah. and show your Actually, the progression. progression yeah. yeah, yeah. Lovely. So there you go, PXS 1000 in white. And we're on to the, what are we on to next? The 3000. 3000, let's go, join us.